calculate a couple of uh, financial calculations on the TI-83. Here's the situation. You're buying a car that costs $23,500. Your loan is at 7% interest rate for five years. And we want to know what the monthly payment on the loan would be, how much we'll still owe after two years, and what the total we're going to pay over five years for the cars. So let's turn on the calculator and we need to get into the finance part of it. Now there's two ways in. On a newer calculator you'll push the apps button and select finance. If your calculator is more than a few years old you may have finances as one of the labels above a key on the left hand column here. And we're going to select TVM solver, time value money solver. N is the number of payments. We have five years and payments are monthly on a car, so five times 12, and we can even do that calculation here, or you can simply type in 60. Interest is percent, 7% for this problem. Present value, PV is present value, how much money at the beginning of the problem we, we borrowed in this case, 23,500. Payment is what we're gonna find out, so obviously we don't know that answer. Future value, zero. Okay, we're going to leave that at zero. And that's not that our car is worth zero. It's at the end of the loan, we owe nothing. So the future value of our financing in this case is zero. We don't have a lump sum payment at the end. Payments per year is 12. When I change one, it will change the other automatically. Compoundings per year. So CY is compoundings per year. That will also be 12 in this case. And we're going to say our payments are at the end of the month, not the beginning of the month. So now we're going to calculate payment. To do that, I put it on the line I want to calculate. So I have the blinking cursor on that line and I simply press alpha solve and it tells me my payment per month my answer for this question is 465 and 33 cents now it comes up negative TI-83 calculator and mini financial uh, calculators use cash flow cash that's coming towards you is positive so we got 23,500 that allowed us to buy the car and in each month the payment goes away from us so it's a negative number how much will we still owe after two years? Okay, two years is 24 months, two times 12. So I'm gonna change this to 24. I was still given 23,500. I made all of my payments for 24 months, so they stay the same. And I merely come down here to future value, and this is now two years into the future. And since n is 24, and our, it's still monthly, and I select solve, and I find out that I would still owe two years into this loan, 15,000 and seventy dollars. Okay. Third question, total paid over five years. Now a lot of times students will do something on the calculator here but it's really unnecessary. You know your payment is 465.33 and you're going to do that for five years which is 60 months. Multiply and this will give you my answer. So I'm actually going to leave this part of the calculator and simply do 465.33 times 60 months. Total payment for the car over the five years will be $27,919.80. So you'll notice that's a considerable amount of finance charges, $4,419, the difference between these two numbers. Well, your interest, though it seems 7% would be a lot less than that, it's 7% each year on the remaining balance of the loan. So this is actually the correct answer. That by financing it this way, you will actually spend almost $28,000 on the car.